Good morning YouTube. My name is George Henry Golden Webb and this is my five minute video log in which I'll be talking about my interpersonal skills, my personal skills, my self development, my knowledge with reference to these four headings behind me and to do with my first semester here at university. Um, first of all my interpersonal skills. Um, working collaboratively with others is generally not something I've done particularly well in the past. You know, I'm a, I generally am quite quiet in a group. I won't generally take much control. I'll just sort of, you know, I won't participate so much. Um, however, here in the seminars when we've had to do group work, maybe making a diagram, a mind map, something like that, um, I found that I'm often taking down the notes. I'm explaining what I think and then um, I'll write something down that someone says, okay, how does that link to this? You know, I'm kind of directing the group in how we should progress. This is definitely something that's new to me, but you know, I think it's uh, I think there's a good reason as to why it started happening now. Um, I think this is a social thing. Um, you know, coming to university, many of us don't know many people here, and so we're all very social, particularly at the beginning, when we you know we meet so many new people within such a short amount of time. It's almost a forced social experience. You know, you really know no one, so you really long to go and branch out and meet new people. And I feel like that kind of area of being social has leaked over into my academic life. And so I think that's why I'm being more assertive, more dominant, uh, you know, participating more. Um, in terms of personal skills, um, I've always been a rather reflective person. Um, and I think Enterprising You, which is a, um, an online development resource, has really helped me to continue to be reflective. Um, you know, it, you're given information, you, for example, um, there are questions about yourself and you answer them relating to what you think and uh, eventually you'll get um, some kind of analysis about what you are as a person, who you are, uh, your strengths, weaknesses, that kind of thing. And um, so it's really given me a whole other side besides my strict academic life to reflect on. Um, and so, you know, that's a, that's a great way of really finding out about yourself and having some other opportunity to reflect upon. Um, in terms of self-development, um, I think two things stand out to me there. Uh, my lecture notes, you know, the lectures here are all very big and I've I found that having a good lecture has always helped me, but um, in terms of lecture notes, these are what I've got, and they're very. Um, there's a lot of information on these pages. This is just one example that I've taken, and you know, there's a lot of information there. It's hard for me to like remember this, and then when looking for preparatory work for the next lecture, I look back and I just don't remember any of this. So what I'm going to try and do, and this is branching on a little bit about personal skills and how enterprising me has helped me reflect about how I learn. What I'm going to start doing is this sort of thing, you know, these pages are a lot, there's a lot less information on here, there's a bit of colour on there to help me remember, it's a lot more pictorial, it's a lot more fluid, so I'm hoping that having this new style of note taking will be able to, I'll be able to process information quicker, um, recall more, so when I go back and to revise it won't be learning anything, it will be more refreshing sessions. And um, what I'm hoping this will also help with is my in-class tests. You know, this one I got 4 out of 8, which is not great. And I'm hoping that a new style of personal skills, a new development of my lectures will help me, lecture notes, will help me to do better within these in-class tests. Um, the second area where I believe I have made a great amount of development is in my organisation. Um, if you look past year, at my past year's blinders, they're all very disorganised. There's no logical structure in there, pretty much whatsoever. It's really hard to go back and find what you're looking for. Whereas with the binders that I have here, I've really made an effort to keep them organised, put everything in there in a logical, structured sense. So I've got keys, I've got little sections where everything goes. And it, I've noticed already how it really helps when I'm looking for something to really decrease the amount of time I spend um, faffing around and being preoccupied by other things. I've got the information right there, I can get down and sit down and do it. And that's been a, a massive development for me from previous learning. Um, a personal thing then, quickly before we finish. Um, 
the academic stuff isn't so different from doing my IB. You know, we've always had a lot of uh, free range to do whatever you want within certain guidelines. The big things, big changes are budgeting my money and food. Uh, budgeting my money is definitely something that I've not done before, but something I feel that is going rather well. I feel like I've been able to keep on top of it without too much stress. Um, food, however, not so much. You know, pasta's great, I love it. But nine days out of ten, there's only one good thing that can be said about that, and that is that at least there are so many different types of pasta sauces. I hope you enjoyed this five minutes. I know I have. Uh, goodbye. Have a good day.